Hello, welcome back. I know you've been missing my story videos, my real story videos, but I do, I don't know if you follow me on Instagram, but I'm always telling stories on Instagram, so you might want to follow me there as well. But anyway, the story I want to tell you about is something that happened to me, and it was mortifying, to say the least. Mortifying means extremely embarrassing, and horrible to me okay this is my personality maybe it's not mortifying to you in which case lucky you lucky you well we went to take the kids to school okay so to drop my kids off at school we say drop the kids off at school it's the same as take the kids to school and my I don't drive so we always go together like, it's always my husband and I going to to take the kids to school and pick them up together most of the time so um we drive to school, and I'm telling you this story now, sometimes in the present tense, pay, pay attention. It's something we do in English to, to make the story a little bit more real and, and, and blah, 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 ah, a little bit more real and entertaining. So, so we drive to school and we get out of the car. Well, we, meaning myself and the kids, we get out of the car for me to take the kids into school, literally inside, into school. So I'm doing that. Normally what we do is I get out of the car and I do that whilst my husband gets out of the car park and parks the car on the street just outside the school, okay? So this is normally what happens. So I do that, I get out, I walk in with the kids, walk in with the kids, I drop them off, you know, take them to their own classrooms, and then I walk out of the school, onto the street, onto the street, because I'm walking on towards the street, okay, onto the street, I'm on the street now, I walk onto the street, and I open the door to enter the car where my husband is, right, he's parked on the street and I open the door to enter and that's when I realise I opened the wrong door and there's another man who's not my husband and then I feel like I'm about to faint, faint is like, because I am an introvert you know, and I have a little bit of social anxiety. So situations like that completely throw me off track. I get completely lost. I don't know what to do when situations like that happen. So this is my reaction, no joke. I look at the man, the man is looking at me like this. Right, like, what are you doing crazy lady, like this? And I go, Oh my God, I am so sorry. Like, that's my reaction. I shut the door. And then what I do is, I run, literally, I run down the street towards my husband's car. Literally running, not walking. Running, okay? So I run down the street towards my husband's car, enter the car, and my husband is laughing so much and he looks at me and he goes I can't believe you entered the wrong car and I'm like you saw it and he goes yeah I did and I saw you running why did you run down the street like a child I'm like because I was embarrassed I was mortified I was mortified I was so so embarrassed that I ran just like a child basically. So this is the story I had to share today. Be careful, okay, when you're about to enter someone's car. Make sure it's the right car. I mean, it's worth checking before you enter, literally half enter. I half entered the car, you know, like I opened and I put my leg inside. Like it was like 35% of my body inside the stranger's car. I mean, that's too much. That's a high percentage. That's like, no. So be careful so you don't do that. And listen to this video again so you can understand how I told this story, okay? The words I used and how how I made the story interesting. Well, I hope it was, God, 
I hope it was interesting. How I made that story interesting. It's, it's such a simple story, but you can either make it interesting or just make it very unimportant. When it's something unimportant, no one cares to hear it. Okay, just life advice right now. Not that I tell stories to people, I don't. I only tell stories to you guys. But still, it's it's good to know, especially when you're trying to build your confidence to try to, to tell stories in English. Okay, and I hope you're not mortified at all this week. Well, especially not as much as I was last week. See you all next time. Goodbye.